So I was just little. I was a lot smaller than what I am now. This summer, Sherry Canada started to feel sick, so she got over-the-counter medicine, thinking it was a common flu. Little did she know she'll be spending almost a month at the hospital. My fever just kept coming back, and so finally on, you know, I'd been dealing with that for about three or four days, and finally I decided to go to an emergency clinic, a minor clinic, and that's when they diagnosed me with pneumonia. I had some fluid on my lungs by chest x-ray. The prescribed antibiotics didn't work. Days later, she went back to the minor clinic for IV fluids. Canada didn't feel any better. She then headed to Hendrick Hospital. My stats were low, my heart rate was elevated, and they started doing EKG. Then they you know, did all kinds of blood work and stuff came back positive um, for blood clots. So they did a CAT scan. And in the CAT scan, they saw that my lungs just overnight went from a little bit of fluid to full of fluid. For two days, they tried to treat it with steroids, but her stats kept going down. On June 14th, they sent her down to ICU, putting Canada on a CPAP machine. Still, my stats were going down. I couldn't breathe. I was getting worse. And by June 18th, four days into being in the ICU, June 18th, they were talking about intubating me put me in a medical sedated coma. A week later, Canada finally woke up. She then was taking it step by step, trying to walk again to get her strength back. After I walked that first day and I was, they had woke me up from my coma, they told me how bad that vaping was on my lungs and how much fluid, they relieved four liters of fluid off my lungs. She's been vaping for three years. Not a lot of people knew she did, but Canada realized it was getting out of hand. When I did vape, it was constantly, it was, I mean, when I was watching TV, when I was driving, it got to the point where um, I couldn't go anywhere without it. From 77 pounds during ICU, she was released at 84 pounds on July 5th. Two months later, she has been able to gain her strength and weight back and now stands at 106 pounds. She's sharing her story in hopes to save others. That they just really think about it and think about even their family members. You know, I would never want my family or friends to go through this ever again have to see me fighting for my life and nor do I ever want tubes down my throat. You know, the anxiety of it just and the recovery was just as hard as fighting. For Fox West Texas, I'm Narita Vera.